I love staying at the resorts, like especially like ones that are supposed to be a little bit fancier than ones that aren't fancy. Good morning, friends. Well, afternoon, evening-ish time. It's pretty late in the day, actually, so we don't have much time left of this day, but I'm going to show you where we're staying for the night. My family, unfortunately, has gone home, but I do have this last night here. And um, I'm just gonna show you the room. So I am really excited to spend the night here and like show you guys how cool the view is out of off our patio. So this is where we're staying and we're in a pretty awesome location. Okay, I don't know why I hit that twice. We are at Saratoga Springs tonight and it's my last kind of real anything. Just wanna show you guys what it looks like in here. This is a fancy place, this is fancy stuff. It's not fancy enough that we get soap, but it's fancy enough that we get two shower heads, designer tile, a bathroom with all my junk. They're giving us pillows, blankets, irons, boards, safes. And then we have this little like doohickey, which like, you know, the all-star resorts don't come with this stuff. So it's like a little, um, you know, little, little area. There's some steak in there from Narcoosie's. I used this creamer at Coronado the other day and it was so old it like just turned into a chunk. It was pretty gross but I squirted it into the sink. I mean like I dumped it into the sink. And this is the Coronado Springs room. I love the headboard. It's like, you know, like Coronado-y if that's what we're gonna call it. Then you got this pretty little beachy looking table. Look at how strong I am, one-armed. Oh! Oh, okay. There's Fru Fru. Oh, I can do this. I've waited my whole life for this moment. Of course, we have Walt Disney World today playing. You have to do that, or just don't even bother. So you can kind of see, you come in here, you make your coffee here, you go to the bathroom here, you look at yourself here, you sit on the bench here, you put your clothes away here, you go outside here. Now, I'm not going to lie, Saratoga has never, ever, ever been in my like top resorts for any reason, but it's really neat because we are exactly like 10 feet from the beginning of the Disney Springs path, which we're going to take that in a little bit. But look, it's like right there. And then maybe tomorrow morning I can show you guys um, a better view of how neat Disney Springs looks when it's like empty and there's no one in it. Okay, back in the room. This is it. It's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. It looks clean. I think that's why I like it. Super simple and like fresh and neat and organized, displayed, you know? And I kind of moved my stuff out of the way, but not really at all, if you go this way. Okay, it's five o'clock in the morning and I just really want to show you guys this. I can't get the door open. Wait, okay. No, okay. So this is our patio at five o'clock in the morning. You can see like Disney Springs is completely empty except for the night blossoms. And I love that you can see like the little firefly lights are still going and there's a truck driving through the springs right now. Isn't that really awesome? I'm trying to be as steady as I can, and over here is Splitsville. And then if we pan slowly, there's the balloon. And then, that truck's just sound like it farted. Boathouse. I just thought that was really cool. I'm not even kidding, it really is like five o'clock in the morning. I have no idea why I'm awake right now, but I'm not going to stay awake. So, be gone with you, Disney spring. Yeah, that will never be me. Anyway, look at the sun coming up. It's so pretty. Now it's like six o'clock in the morning. I can't really see the sunrise from here, but you get the gist of it. It's morning now. And I think we're going to go and kind of just explore the resort and see, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's morning, we have all day to just figure it out. Goodbye room, I'll never forget you. Okay. 
So from here, you can see if we were to walk down this little pathway that isn't really there, but people have made, we go right to the walkway to Disney Springs. I think this morning what we're going to spend our time doing is like exploring the grounds because I've never really, because I've never really actually explored here. My laziness got the best of me today and we missed the Mickey waffles. And this is the pathway. We're gonna take this in a little bit, but I kind of want to put my stuff in my car so we're not walking around with all this stuff. Now bear with me because I do not know this resort at all. The only time I've really ever been here is I was like resort hopping on vacation like 10 years ago. And I got off the bus here and I was like, is this come like a, like a, it looked like apartments kind of. I don't know if you can see it, but look at, yeah, you can definitely see that. It's pretty big and not hidden. Oh, look at the bow house, paddlefish, world of Disney. You can rent Surrey bikes here like Port Orleans. And I'm going to do my laundry because I am not going home with this poop sack of laundry. You see what I mean? That it kind of looks like apartment complex like buildings. They're like kind of like, they don't look like hotel -y to me. All right, let's see how fancy the like DVC laundry rooms are. Okay, the laundry room is pretty typical. Like it's just a regular one. Only two washers. Luckily we got one before they were both taken. And for DVC members, they're free. So that's pretty great. Now we are not DVC members. We actually ended up renting the points through um, a DVC rental website, which was actually really cheap. So if you ever wanna like stay at one of these fun resorts, I would look into renting the points because it's really not that bad. And I have a sore throat. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't feel sick or anything like that. I think it's just from yelling so much this week. You know, family time. We got 60 minutes. My mom accidentally took my bathing suit home or purposely not that it was really a bathing suit but that like lily pulitzer shirt and everything so we are not going to anyway so we are going to hurry up and head over to walmart while we have 60 minutes for the clothes to be done and then we're going to go sit by the pool look at how beautiful look at the car do you see the car i know that it pans so fast but like i get really excited and worked up for things so like i move faster than like i'm realizing and I'm trying to not do that anymore even though this is probably going to be my last vlog for a long time because my short-lived time off has come to an end. I have to go back to work. It's very sad because I really enjoyed making vlogs for a month straight. I wish I could keep doing it, but I just can't. It's weird, you know, Saratoga is becoming like my new favorite resort. I don't even know how this is happening. Look at how pretty like the bridge is with the water. I gotta go because the bus just went through the stop sign. Okay, I'm gonna drive by this slowly and pretend that like I'm following the bus super far behind. But this is like the little like main area. So look, there's the laundry. There's the community hall. Horsing around rentals where you can rent the Surrey bike. And then I think to the left is the main pool area, if I'm not wrong. Yes, it is. And then slowly pan to the right, and we've got the bus station, which I love taking the buses for fun, but I do not enjoy them on vacations. And then up here, up here is like the golf course area. So you can come out here and hit a bunch of balls around a yard if you want to, that's, that's your thing. I would love to be one of those golf ball scooper people. And this resort is huge. It is so big. I mean, a lot of them are really, really big, but if you were like over here and you wanted to be over like, there, it's just a big place. Okay, the Walmart trip took exactly one hour. The Walmart is like 10 minutes up the road from here, a little further than I remember, but we got our swimming shorts <laughs> and we got a, a long sleeve black swim top. It's, it was in the swim section, so I mean, it's definitely swim gear. All right, and here we are. We are parked at Congress Park, is, which is the section with that little dark trail at nighttime to Disney Springs. I guess I don't really need to park exactly next to the room because I am going to get my laundry and go swimming. Look, you see the car and the balloon? I was going to go swimming right now, but the pool is like that, like awkwardly busy, like where there's enough people that it's like, heart pounding and there's too little that you I can't explain it 
there's enough people that if you walk on that pool deck, they're all looking looking at you instead of there being like a whole bunch of them. You, I don't know, like you can't blend in. You can't just sneak in and hop in the pool. There's probably like 40 people, so. So for now, let's just like skip the pool. I haven't eaten all day. It is already three o'clock in the afternoon. Probably should eat. But the laundry's done and these are the swimming shorts I got. They're like little pineapples. There's Rainforest Cafe and like, I know that the Ganachery did come out with like Cruella things. This isn't gonna be a flop like when I said, oh, they have Halloween snacks and they didn't. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Maybe I won't even put this in the video because there won't even be any there later. When we do resort days, like I don't wanna leave the resort. So whatever we eat, it has to be resort related. I can't even see the turn left here. There's a sign too much in my way. Let's go a little bit further. Never trust a blinker. Is he really turning? Yes. Now we're gonna head over to the main like dining area. Not dining, yeah, well they do have like a little bar and I think it's called Turfy's Surf and Turf and some kind of fish thing, majiggy. Now I have no idea if this is where I need to park to go up there and be in the lobby. I don't, I, I might have to like take like a loop around up here and see if this is the only way to park. It appears that parking lot back there was the parking lot you used to get up here. One time I had chocolate milk while I waited for a minivan right here. This is all 30 minute parking and yeah, we can't do that because that's not the rules. I love how Disney does this. Like every time you mobile order something, they suggest you add something to enhance your meal. Why on earth after I just ordered a sandwich but I want to add another sandwich I mean I do they got me they got me so this is like the parking lot that I have to park in to go over there which is not bad at all because I found a spot in like two seconds oh you guys have to see how pretty this is here and that's enough oh good there's nothing coming I get so much anxiety crossing the street even like at Walmart's and Target's Hate it, hate it, hate it. Okay, this is where we were staying. That's a little pathway. Now we are, oh, here. And is there another pool over here? No, so we, we were at the only, oh wait, no there is. <laughs> Make it stop, make it stop. Am I real or just a prop? Oh, I want to show you guys this pool so bad, but there's so many people at it. There's a little slide that goes into like the middle. There's like this rock area with another slide and a splash pad. And here, like where you check in, we got sturdy old horse. Um, you can see a lot of people smacked his booty. The little carriage thing. I'm gonna go in through this way, even though I don't need to. What horse did we have? I don't even know, like in our like little, like, was it Philippe? No way, was it Philippe? Who was it? Was it Buck? No, I don't know. Okay, and over here. Oh my gosh, I love their Memorial Day shirt. That is so cute. Is that literally it? It must be. There's my backpack. Oh my gosh, there's my suitcase. There's my other suitcase. I feel like a fool. This whole time they had something I could just swim in right here, but how much is it? $34 and I paid, look at this mask. $34. I paid 20 at Walmart and they got pineapples at Walmart. This one doesn't have anything. And like when you come into this quick service area, they got like alcohol. I just said like twice, please ignore. Tater tots. Who doesn't want tater tots from the microwave? Oh, I'm guessing some of these rooms have ovens. That's what makes sense now. One time I went to a Moonlight Magic event where they give these away for free and at the end of the night, they gave me an entire box and we had it in the freezer for probably like, we had it in the freezer for probably two years and we never finished them. I don't think I could ever eat one again. Oh, I just love Pop-Tarts. Or I love saying the word Pop-Tart. Oh, how cute. I wish grocery stores would start doing this because you're like running around trying to find one of each thing. I love s'mores. This is the um, like food court area at Saratoga. It's kind of simple. They've got like blown glass as like their art. And I ordered, it says, and I ordered the grilled ham and cheese. I don't know how it's going to be. 
It doesn't seem very warm, but we're gonna try it. Came with Saratoga house-made chips, which means they're potato cutting in here and throwing it in the deep fryer. I like it. Now I want to go and explore more of the resort. I feel like I'm having such a quiet day, like I'm not talking very much. I think it's the throat thing, but I still want to film this. This is the way to the Turf Club Bar and Grill, which used to have like a really cool trivia. And it goes outside to like a patio area. I don't even know if it's still open. It used to be able to that you could like eat inside here at the, the Turf Club and then eat outside too. It is definitely closed. It looks like, wait, seems like it's going to rain, which is great. Gotta love that. This must be like the boat dock where you go to Disney Springs from because I see House of Blues over there and then the golf course is over there. That bird is eating something. Welcome to the circle of life. I am very far from where we parked the car because I have no idea where we are. Slow. This is like where you get your golf cart rental and things. It was outside of the turfy thing. The turf and surf, that's what it's called. Now, I have to find out how to get back. I have to find out how to get back because I definitely think it's going to storm. Now we're down by like the DVC tour spot area and the music is like Hollywood Studios. Oh, it is like Hollywood Studios. Look at these two. They're like hissing and chasing each other and then hissing some more. This is pretty, this like little courtyard area. Oh, it's to the pool. And then there's like the fountains right there. I see, this takes us to where we kind of drove earlier and I was pointing out the laundry thing and all that. I wanna see this laundry room. This laundry room is a lot bigger than the other one. Actually, it's bigger, but there's not even more washers. The pool, I don't even know if you can see it without me like showing it too much, is so awesome looking. It's our lucky day. We found buried TV cable. And more buried TV cable. I just don't have my shovel, so it's gonna have to stay buried for the next one. This brings back so many memories of when I didn't really quite understand resorts at Disney, and I would just walk around, I know, the wind. Now we're gonna head back over to that, that area that we were sleeping at, and we're going to walk over to Disney Springs, but first, I had nothing to say after that, so, but first, nothing. Like I said earlier, this is the little pathway. It's really dark at night, so if I was a female alone, which I am, I would never take this path. But look at how pretty it is. Look at the butterfly. Look at all the nature and the, the, the trees, and you would think that maybe you'd see like a wild chuka, kupa, chupacabra walking through the trees. I obviously forgot the name of that for a second. There's one. There it is. Eating a little acorn, just like chupacabras do. Oh, he's not afraid of me. Oh, he really flung. All right, take two. This is the bridge, and there's like this really cool, like retro-y, vintage -y hotel right here. I found out it's the Wyndham. And then there's like the birds and the fountains and all of the fun stuff. And this is where it dumps you off, like right here by where that Goofy is and the Christmas thing that's been out all year long for like 20 years. By the Christmas store, Rainforest Cafe, but you can't go in right there so you have to still keep going this way. <laughs> this is um, a Pixar jumpsuit. It's definitely interesting. There is no line at all for World of Disney right now, which means that before we find somewhere to eat, we need to do this first because this won't happen later. This is so cute. They need to make this for adults. I love this. I'm not seeing very much new merch right now, so we're just gonna kind of see. It's actually really depressing in here right now. The music Baby of Mine just played, and now this sad song's playing. Um, I love this. It's so cute. I think it's time. My, my mask looks really stupid. More of the 4th of July. I think I already pointed all this out. And I got the little plushy things. They're, they're, they're kind of expensive, $20 for a tiny little thing. 
I see they made masks. I'm surprised they're still $10. They're going to be a thing of the past very soon. And then they got this cute little kid's shirt. And then they got these ones, which I kind of like these. I wouldn't think they're, for, okay, now I would. $40, yikes. And look at this, not them, but this. It's humongous. I finally got a spot at the T-Rex lounge. I mean, it was like, a, there was like two seats open and I ran over and I grabbed one. I asked if they were sitting here. They said no, made it. So we've got a spot at the bar, but it's still great. I don't know why I'm obsessed with these tacky little places, but for some reason, I am super obsessed with them. Like I love rainforest and I love here. It's just so funny. All right, we got dinosaur things happening right now in here. It's getting wild. Oh, oh boy, did you see that? Do you guys see that little unicorn fish up there swimming around? Well, he's gone now, but he was there, I promise you. How could you not love this place? This is so awesome. I mean, the theming inside of these tacky restaurants is like subpar for everywhere. I take back what I just said. I meant everywhere else is subpar to here. And instead, I said the wrong thing. So please forgive me. Thank you. This is how you get a free show. You just like look at other people's desserts and record it and pretend you got it for yourself. What is that thing? That is so cool. I want it so bad. What is it? I just want it so bad. I need some friends. And here is what I ordered. I ordered a grilled chicken sandwich. And it looks pretty. Oops. There goes the lettuce. Not that I was going to eat it anyway. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. It looks good except for I don't eat any of this stuff and I could have asked for it to not have it But that's all right. It's all right. We do what we got to do. We disassemble disassemble it. Oop. All right There we go. Oh, let's stick it back. Oh a jellyfish uh, A jellyfish chicken sandwich and that's an absolute no. Let's swap that out with this and We did it Oh my goodness, this is my first time seeing me in this lighting. Ready? It's got a seasoning like summertime on it. Like if you're grilling out. And she will see that. And she will. So I don't hate it, I don't love it, it's not the worst, but City Works, oh my goodness, if you have never been to City Works, you are missing out on the best chicken sandwich you have ever had in your life. I ate at City Walk, not City Walk, City Works the other day down by the M&M store, and I ordered a grilled chicken sandwich, and let me tell you, and you can hear me right now, that was the world's best chicken sandwich you will ever have. This one, it's not as great. It's not horrible, but I'm like a grilled chicken sandwich connoisseur. During meteor showers, I like to eat ranch fries. Too bright. And right on schedule when things were going good. I hated that sandwich. It was over $20. I would never get it again. Go to City Works, I promise you. I mean, if you want to have like the atmosphere of like the T-Rex lounge like I did, Go get a drink or something maybe, but do not get the chicken sandwich. I mean get anything else. Don't get the chicken sandwich. I've had the pasta and I didn't hate that. T-Rex, you do not fail me often, but today you have failed me. Look at how big these Mickey Dome cakes are. That has got to be for someone's like 50th birthday because that's the only time you would celebrate so greatly. If I knew anyone that was 50 that I talked to, I would totally get them this cake. I don't know why I'm so intrigued by this, but how cute this is where they add the edible flowers. Oh, oh, and, oh, she's not sure? She's sure, she likes, she's a pretty, yes, put it on, put it on. She's like, do I like? Yes, I like, the line's moving, here it goes. And a boo. I came here for the Cruella cake. Um, it's pretty big, I mean, the, the video's not doing it justice. 
has been waiting here for quite some time because I think they're only letting one party in. So one goes in, one comes out, like, or one comes out and then one comes in. And if they don't have the cool stuff, I don't know. Okay, we know what we're here for. Let's see. Hi, thank you. I have no idea exactly how long I waited for this thing. Seven dollars, but we did it. We're here down at downtown Disney Springs and we are here. We're trying one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Cruella cake pop thing. Don't hate it. Oh, I love chocolate. I'm a bad food reviewer, but it was white chocolate, cookies and cream ganache, dipped in dark chocolate, and they found it to be very rich on Disney Food Blog. That's my description. And I liked it. I really did. I didn't hate it. I really liked it. He's playing Circles by Post Malone. And then we got this amazing sunset happening here. It's not showing up great. Let me zoom in. I think our best hype guy in the world is Eddie Maserati. Look at him out there. He will be your number one hype guy. If you guys watched my car concert in the Universal vlog, you know I'm into the Backstreet Boys. And so is obviously Eddie Maserati. I am just now hopping from one live music section to the next live music section to the next live music section. We're gonna head out of Disney Springs and I sacrificed myself as tribute to show you how scary the path is at nighttime when you're alone. I hope you're ready for this. Walk away clothes from dusk to dawn. I said I'm not a rule breaker, but we got to get to our car. Stay with me, everybody. Get the speed dial going. We got to make it out of here. Oh my God, I'm actually scared. Not super scared because like, don't mess with me. I'm, I'm scary. I'm more scared I'm going to step on like a bee patch or like, I don't know. You, you can't, don't, I mean, you're not going to be able to get me. Oh, there's people on the path. I can't find it. Okay, I can see the way, kind of. Oh, oh, nope. Don't mess with me. I'm crazy. You don't want to mess with me. No, don't touch me. Intruder. I would yell. I would yell something like that. I would yell something really, really loud so that nobody would come near me. I wouldn't come near me because you wouldn't even want to have me kidnapped. I get away anyway. So good luck to you. Good luck to any of you in the woods right now looking to kidnap me because guess what? I have self-defense mechanisms of, 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 a, of a bear. So watch out. Watch out for me. Thank you. We made it. I don't know how we just made that. I don't know how we just made that. We did. Barely. <laughs> 